everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed a makeup tutorial on this makeup look. I don't really know what I'm going to call this video. It's sort of like a soft pink glowy makeup look I guess. If you're interested in seeing what I did to get this makeup look then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by using Max Strobe Cream. I'm just going to put this anywhere that I would usually highlight just for an extra glow. So my cheekbones of my nose, cupid's bow and my chin. Next I would usually do my eyebrows but I have already done them because they take a while because I have like five hairs on each eyebrow. For foundation I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. I'm just going to put this straight onto my face. Take this flat top brush by BH Cosmetics and just blend it out. Concealer, I'm going to also use my Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the Retoucher and it's in the shade 2. I'm just going to put this in two triangles under my eyes and also on my eyelids just as a primer for the concealer, for the concealer, for the eyeshadow. And I'm going to put that anywhere else that I want to conceal. I'm going to blend that out with the same brush I used for my foundation. I'm going to set my face using my Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes. Eyes? Eyes? Why can't I speak? <laughs> so I'm going to be using the Naked 3 palette because the colours in it are actually so pretty. I'm going to start off by taking Limit, which is this colour. And I'm going to put that in my crease as my transition shade. And this is a Sigma E40 tapered blending brush. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. But I'm going to bring it out quite far. Not like all the way out there, but just sort of just see what I do, I guess. Then I'm going to take the shade Nuna, which is this one here, and I'm going to use the Morphe M200 brush, a bit more definition. This is really lightly because I still want the eyes to be quite soft. Going to take Buzz, I'm going to put that sort of over a bit where I put the other one, but also bring it onto my lid a bit. And then I'm going to take the shade Burnout, which is on there. It's just a really light pink. I'm going to take the shade Dust, just a lighter, more shimmery one. And I'm going to put that on top. I'm going to take this MAC um, palette. It's the... The Luxe Pearl Fusion Shadow and I'm going to take these two pink ones, mix them both together to intensify it. And then I'm going to take the sort of purpley lilac -y shade, I'm going to put that in my inner corner. I'm just going to take this brush from Real Techniques, I no clue what it's called. Um, but it hasn't got any eyeshadow. I'm going to blend out like the outer part of my eye just because I want it to be a bit less harsh. And then I'm going to take this brush by Morphe and the shade Burnout and I'm just going to put that um, just on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to use the Too Faced Sketch Marker Eyeliner in black. Put this on my lash line because obviously I don't have any eyelashes. So this just sort of creates the effect that you do. And obviously it doesn't look like you have eyelashes but it just, I don't know how to describe it. I hope you get what I mean. For bronzer I'm going to use my NARS Laguna. So sad, I've hit pan and it's not long till the rest is 
rest is gone. I'm going to take this Benefit Real Cheeky Party um, set. I'm going to take Dandelion, which is this sort of pinky shade up here, and then Coralista, which is more of a corally shade, obviously. Why is my voice doing this? I usually wear blush. Is it blush or blusher? I don't know. But I don't usually wear it. So I'm just sort of putting that on my cheekbones sort of I don't know I'm not I'm really sure how I meant to put blush on and I'm going to take the Benefit What's Up highlighter warm that up on my finger put that on my cheekbones and on the tip of my nose my cupid's bow and my chin and then just for some extra glow I'm going to use my MAC soft and gentle highlighter and just put that over the top for my lips I'm going to take my Coco K lip liner by Kylie Cosmetics Dior lip maximizer and I'm just going to put that over the top So this is a finished look. I really, really like how the blush, blusher, whatever you want to call it, looks. I'm actually going to start wearing that a lot more. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.